What's up, guys? Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes. Back on the scary account. I know you guys can probably hear the voice. It's, it's the day after doing all those profit orbs on the live stream. My voice is tired. So, we have just a couple things to do today. One is, definitely got to get these scaries all set up, geared up, ready to go for the last day of Molasses Flame Shrine. Ooh. Hopefully, hopefully we can get some good RNG with our Heart Watcher. Let's just make sure everybody's geared out still. Everybody's set. Everybody looks good. Heart Watcher, are you still good? Yeah, you still look good. You're, you're, you're looking good. I think what we're going to do, I decided we're going to try to raise this up to an HP HP stone at C6. Ooh, there's already an HP HP. Actually, I think I'm going to just keep it. Let's do a C3, a little bit tankier. Not, not a ton, but a little bit. Let's jump back in here. We're going to keep the same lineup as is, and here we go. All right, so let's just hope for some good RNG. Uh, okay, she got hit with two out of three. I mean, not horrible. Man, she's getting hit by every attack. Heart Watcher getting the little bit of heal, though, so that might help a tiny bit. Just need to dodge the actives. If she gets hit with the basic, it's not the end of the world. It's those actives. Oh my goodness. Well, her dying this early pretty much means this round is it's probably going to be in the 50, 50 billion range. So a little bit low on the damage. But we will take a look at those big old scary numbers here in the next round after the Phoenix buff. Ooh, already at 891 billion. Not bad, not bad at all. We have three scaries all in the same round. 880. That one was kind of low. That one was decent. That was decent. All right, got another active. Here we go. Ooh, 1.4. Ooh, that was about one on everyone. Ooh, I mean, it's decent damage. It might be close to 60 billion. It might be close. 1.5. 1.2, yeah, no, actually, I think it's probably going to be mid-50 billions here. Oh, we hit 2 billion up the top, though. That was not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, 53. That's that's what I was thinking. So, maybe we should just try to play some RNG game. Let's put let's put the Heart Watcher, like, in the back row. Maybe it hides her a little bit. I mean, I know it's not true because Molasa just hits completely random enemies. But, eh, we'll see. We'll see. Right, she did take a Phoenix buff, but she is very healthy right now. She's very, very healthy, so that's that's looking really good, actually. She only got hit by two out of three there. Got to dodge these actives, come on. Oh, she dodged one, perfect. And she dodged the Phoenix buff. This is looking good. If she can dodge one more round of hits. Oh, she died of the poison, but that was to round six. We're going to have to watch this damage in the later rounds here because we might have a chance to do at least in the high 60 to 70 billion now. Really, really close. 1.1, that's just, I mean, the damage is looking so, 1.4 already at round 10. And all the scaries are lined up on the same exact turn. This round's probably going to be devastating. 1.9, 1.3, 1.6, 1.7. So much damage. All right, we got another round of actives here. 2.1. Ooh, this one, this one's gonna be a lot more damage for sure. And just active, or basics right here. Still doing half a billion on each target almost. 62, yep, that's that's what I was expecting. Man, we just, we just need Heart Watcher to get a little bit more, a little bit more luck. Just dodge like every active, every Phoenix buff. Ooh, I think if, if we can get that to line up, we can probably do as good as we used to do. Granted, having the E5 Heart Watcher used to be so useful. She was so tanky. She could live to around 5 to, or I mean 5, around 10 to 12 pretty regularly. She dodged two actives there. That was really good as well. I guess maybe having her on the back line is beneficial. I mean, I know it's purely random, but... Ooh, she dodged even more there. She did get hit with the Phoenix buff, but it is going to give her a little bit of a heal, which is going to keep her alive. Got to dodge these next round. These are super important to dodge, Heart Watcher. Ooh, she got hit by both actives, but she's still going strong. 
Hopefully she does not get hit by this Phoenix buff. Oh, she did as well. But, I mean, we're going into round 10, and she's uh, she's just dying now. So, oh, 1.4. Not bad. She did eat some Phoenix buffs, though, which is going to hurt our damage. But she did get a lot more marks stacked up. A lot more stacked up. 2.6 at round 12. Oh, guys, this is, this is looking very good for us. This next round could be huge. 2.6, 2.9, 2 billion. Ooh, we're at least over 70 billion. I feel like we're over 70. We gotta be over 70 at this point. That's so much damage compared to previously. 70 exactly, 70 billion. Ooh. And honestly, guys, at this point, Heart Watcher died at pretty optimal time. Around 9, 10-ish, somewhere in that range. Um... Two things matter, where her attacks hit, because sometimes you can cap out damage on one and have another one way low since we only hit two targets per attack. And the other thing is the Phoenix buffs. We really, really need the Phoenix buffs to dodge the Heart Watcher. Really do. It, it makes her so she doesn't live as long. But if we can RNG it where she doesn't get hit by Phoenix buffs and doesn't get hit by Molasses too often, that is the optimal setup for this, uh, for this boss. And it would be nice if she does crit sometimes. Oh, she's going down so early this time. So I don't think this attempt's going to be... Uh, I don't think this one's going to be a very successful one. Probably low 50s. And you'll see literally just the difference of her living an extra... What was that? Four rounds equals like 20 billion damage. It's crazy. I wish they'd give us a substitute. A different hero that does the same thing as a Heart Watcher. Just feels bad of always needing Heart Watcher in PvE. Yeah, as you see here, look at the damage. We're in the 600, 700 millions. Last time we were already hitting 1.4 billion in round 10. Yeah, just not going to be anywhere as close. Nowhere near as close. But at least we had that one really good attempt. Showing that with some good RNG, we can in fact get to the damage numbers. We were getting with that E5. All right, couple more rounds. We got one big round active, 1.3. Yeah, I mean, you see the difference. We were almost hitting 3 billion per attack, and now we're barely getting 1 to 1.5 billion. So, 1.7. Not bad, not bad. But, yeah, that was really low because she died in round 4. I mean, you can see the difference, guys. It makes such a difference. Ending out the three attempts, almost at 700 billion. So, decent i mean i i think we got i think we're close to getting first i don't i don't know what do you think you think we can get first ah probably we can probably get first i think so but yeah the decision is gonna be we're gonna do some profit orbs later today don't know if i want to take heart watcher up further i mean with how often we get molassa it just doesn't seem worth the investment definitely definitely because uh the a new event is around we're definitely buying this pack so that we're gonna have we're probably going to be able to have enough for both bell rain copies so we already have one 10 star here should be able to build at least one more 10 star and then we're going to start working on the ada so i think that's the goal the end of today i think today i think we're going to do profit orbs today we got an account tune up later and then i think i'm going to do the scary accounts profit orbs but definitely get bell rain up to e5 she is absolutely awesome right now in pve pve everywhere i can't wait to get her to e5 with the terra army then we're going to work on the Ada. Then I don't know what the next project is. We are going to have enough Garuda copies if we want to build a third one. I want to hunt Olivia, though. That's definitely what I want to hunt. But, yeah. We can always build Gustin, but he's not great right now. Could always go for another Terra, too. Or another Bellrain. I feel like two Bellrain could be really strong. Like really strong against carries, but... Uh, overall, the Scary's doing their scary thing. We got, uh, not a new record, but a new record with a 10-star Heart Watcher. <laughs> we got to 70 billion damage, so that's pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I doubt we'll probably get Molassa again for a while. It seems like our luck's been horrible with it, but let me know if you guys like watching the Scary account still. I know, honestly, the views for anything with the Scary PvE stuff are way lower than any of our PvP content, but let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy it. We're still on our way to 8,000 subscribers, so keep dropping comments in every single video. Make sure you subscribe so you can enter the giveaways, and I'll see you guys next time.